Good morning and welcome back to another art lesson. Today we are going to be making an optical illusion using value. Now you were previously working on value scales in practicing dark to light or light to dark. One being the lightest, five being the darkest. I had you do this exercise with pencil first and then with colored pencil. Today, we are going to be using colored pencil and marker. Now, obviously you can't do a value scale using marker. So we are just going to be using value with the colored pencil parts. So I am going to show you the project and break it down for you step by step. The supplies you are going to need for today's project are a blank piece of paper. This one is a smaller piece of paper. It's like an eight by eight square. You can use a regular piece of paper or you can cut a regular piece of paper down to size. That's up to you. You're also going to need a ruler if you have one. If you don't, you can use the edge of a folder or the edge of a book, just something that has a straight edge. You are also going to need a pencil and a black marker. If you don't have a black Sharpie available to you, you can still use a regular black marker. If you don't have a black marker, then you can even use a black colored pencil to give you that nice outline. You are also going to need two colored pencils and two markers that match those colored pencils. So you can see here that I have a pink colored pencil and a pink marker and I have a blue colored pencil and a blue marker. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start with Sharpie. You will start with pencil. The reason why I want you to start with pencil is just in case you make a mistake that you can go back and erase. Then you will trace with Sharpie. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm gonna line it up corner to corner. And I'm just gonna draw my first line. And then I'm going to do the same thing the other way, corner to corner. There you go. And then I'm going to divide it in half right down the center. And in half the other way. There we go. So it almost looks like a snowflake. Once you have this done, you're just gonna pick one of your pie pieces. I like to call these pie pieces because they kind of look like pizza slices or pie slices. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick any one and you're going to do a curved line. These lines do not touch each other, spread them out. You should be able to fit your finger inside of them. Now, when you run out of room, you just pretend and go off the edge of the paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna skip a pie piece and then go to my next one. Now, this is one of those projects where you have to go really, really slow because if you don't, you could very easily make a mistake and then draw right next to it. And that's not what you wanna do. You wanna skip one, skip one in between. So just go slow, take your time, do a nice neat job. There we go, and then skip to my next one. All right, once you have that done, then you can put your pencil away and then you can trace that with a black marker. Then you are going to choose one set of those two colors that you chose. So I'm gonna do my blue first and I'm just gonna start with my marker and I'm just gonna color in every other stripe. And this is going to be a longer project so take your time, do a nice, neat job. Don't rush through it. Okay. 
when we're here. one right up here in the corner. Don't forget those little pieces. Make sure your stripes go all the way up. You're going to do that on all four of those, all of them. Then you're going to get out your colored pencil and here's where the value comes into place with going light to dark. So on the very edge, you're going to press down as hard as you can on the very edges. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And then you're just going to get a little bit lighter. And a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Until you're in the very center and you're barely touching the paper with your colored pencil. Okay, so it should be a nice, smooth transition from dark to light. It shouldn't be just like a stripe. It needs to be a smooth transition. So if I kind of like hold it up, you can see my shading. And then I'm going to come up here to the next one. And as your stripes get bigger, you're going to have more room to show those value scales. A little bit lighter now. Barely touching once I get here towards the center. And you're just going to do this all the way up. Now on this piece, you don't see the other side of that dark value. You're only going to see this side. Once you have all of these four pie pieces done, then we're gonna go on to the next step for the other pie pieces. Like I said, this project can be a little confusing if you don't slow down. So you have to go slow and pay close attention to what you're making. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. So now you can see the value scales going from dark to light in the center. It almost looks like there's a shine going down the middle. So you're going to do that on all four of those. Once that's done, then you're going to get out your pencil again. But this time in the blank spaces, your lines are going to curve the other way. So I like to say these are like smile lines and they don't have to match up with the other curved lines on the other pie pieces. So now my lines are curving this way. There we go. And you're going to do that on all of these. If you want your lines to match up, that's fine too. It's your choice. So that one, I did match up my lines. Okay, so you're gonna do that on all of your pie pieces. And then you're gonna do your new color on those sections. So I'm gonna skip to my pink. 
One thing I will say is that yellow does not show up very well with value scales. So I would maybe try to stay away from choosing yellow. It's your choice, but it'll just be a little trickier. So I would choose a color that you can see. And if you want to do black, you can most certainly, you can do black as well. Okay. And then I am going to take my colored pencil again and begin those value scales. And you're just going to do that going all the way up again. It looks like there's a tiny bit of a glare here on my computer screen, so I'll kind of hold it up a little bit so you can see it. I'm just going to finish off this pie piece. And you shouldn't really have any white spaces on this project. Everything should be colored in or have a value scale. Barely touching the center now. Okay. Up here I just have like a really teeny tiny part. So I'm just going to color that in. Okay, and so when you're done, your whole paper should be filled in. All of these pie pieces should be colored in. I have another example here where I used like a darker blue, so you can kind of see the value scales on that one a little bit nicer as well. So this is the project we are going to be working on for a while. Please take your time, do a nice, neat job. Once this whole sheet is filled in, it should look like a pattern and it should show value as well as an optical illusion. Please take a photo of it, upload it into Google Classroom, and then hang on to it until you receive a final grade. Do not throw it away. Do not lose it because I might have comments for you on how to improve things. So keep it, okay? Um, I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions, you can email me. Please take your time and do a nice, neat job on this. All right. Best of luck, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.